Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're taking an exciting journey through the DevOps landscape of 2024. Imagine building a skyscraper. That's how we approach understanding DevOps. So we'll be looking at DevOps as a digital skyscraper with each aspect of DevOps being a step in constructing our skyscraper. So if you're just diving into DevOps or trying to deepen your expertise, you're in the right place. Are you ready? All right, let's do it. So the software development lifecycle or SDLC is like the planning and architectural phase of our skyscraper so imagine laying the foundation and framework for a skyscraper that's exactly what sdlc is in the world of software and in 2024 devops has made agile methodologies even more integral to the way we work basically this means adopting practices that allow for flexible and quick adaptations with a focus on continuous feedback so you want to familiarize yourself with agile frameworks like scrum or kanban using tools such as jira or Trello for project management. They basically ensure that the floor of our digital skyscraper is well planned and robust. Now let's lay the groundwork with Linux server management. In the digital skyscraper of DevOps, Linux servers are the foundational block. In the DevOps realm, Proficiency in Linux is a must. So start with learning basic command line navigation, you know, management of files, batch scripting, and get familiar with the command line is really important as this is your shovel and your hammer in building the skyscraper. So move on to digging into network configurations, you know, security implementations with IP tables and system monitoring with tools like Nagios. And for those new to Linux, platforms like Codecademy or Linux Academy offer great courses for you to get started. The next thing we need to look at is networking. And this is very essential for communication in our digital skyscraper. So it's more like the piping and the wiring, ensuring seamless communication throughout the building. So start with the basic of IP addressing and subnetting as they're just like understanding the layout of our skyscrapers, plumbing and electrical systems. You know, then delve into DNS management and network protocols, you know, TCP IP, HTTP, HTTPS, and these are very crucial. In DevOps, Networking is all about making sure data flows correctly and securely through network. And understanding this is very key in keeping applications and services talking to each other without any itches. It's really important to understand networking as a DevOps engineer in 2024. Moving up, we reach the floor of Git and version control. And this is like the record keeping office of our skyscraper. Git allows us to track every change in our construction process, essential for collaboration. So begin by understanding the basics of Git, Git commands, you know, how to create and manage branches using platforms like GitHub or GitLab. These are like the logbooks and the filling systems of our building process, keeping everything organized and accessible. Next thing we're going to look at is scripting and automation. And these are like the robotic builders in our skyscraper. They take care of repetitive tasks, increasing efficiency, saving time and reducing errors. So start with shell scripting to automate routine tasks. And as you progress, dive into Python. It's really a versatile tool for DevOps engineers. Explore tools like Ansible for automation, Terraform for managing infrastructure as code, as these are actually essential tools to understand as DevOps engineers. As our skyscraper grows taller, we add containers and container orchestration. Containers like Docker have changed the deployment game completely. They encapsulate an application and its environment, ensuring consistency across various computing environments. So start by learning the basics of Docker, learn how to create Docker files, how to build images, and how to run Docker containers. Then there's Docker container orchestration with Kubernetes. Kubernetes automates deploying, scaling, and operating containerized applications. And it involves setting up clusters, managing pods, and services for communication. So go into understanding Kubernetes components like nodes, deployments, services, and concepts like auto-scaling and self-healing, as these are very vital in building and managing a complex and distributed application. The next skill to have as a DevOps engineer in 2024 is understanding continuous integration and continuous deployment, otherwise known as CI-CD. And basically, these are like the assembly lines of our skyscraper. Tools like Jenkins, Travis CI, and SQL CI as the conveyor belts and automated machines that integrate and deploy our building materials and in this case our code they ensure that our construction process is smooth 
with each new addition fitting seamlessly into the structure. So understanding how to set up and manage these pipelines is really key in keeping the building process efficient and up to date. And this applies to DevOps as well. So the next thing we have to look at is cloud computing. Cloud computing is like the external infrastructure supporting our skyscraper. It involves using cloud services for storing, managing and processing data instead of using local servers or personal computers. So familiarize yourself with cloud service models like infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. Major cloud providers like AWS, Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud offer numerous services from basic storage and computing like AWS S3 for storage and AWS EC2 for computing. Understanding how to deploy applications in the cloud, manage cloud resources, and optimize cloud costs are critical skills for DevOps engineers in 2024. Cloud computing offers scalability, flexibility, and often cost effectiveness, making a central aspect of DevOps strategies. The next thing that we need to look at is infrastructure as code, which is majorly like having a master control panel for every aspect of our skyscraper. So with infrastructure as code, setting up a new floor or a whole new wing becomes a process of adjusting the code, making it possible to replicate or alter the structure with precision and speed. So tools like Terraform and Ansible allow us to write code that automatically builds and manages our digital infrastructure. So it's just like having a blueprint that can be used to replicate or modify parts of our skyscraper with precision. So start by learning Terraform for managing cloud infrastructure and Ansible for automating server setups. You know, practice by writing scripts to automate the creation of networks, of servers, of storage, you know, and so on and so forth. These tools are your digital cranes and like the bulldozers, right? Shaping the cloud environment to our needs. So now let's install the monitoring and logging systems like our skyscraper security cameras, and having maintainers logs. So monitoring and logging are highly essential in maintaining the health and performance of applications and infrastructure. And monitoring involves tracking the performance of applications and infrastructure, identifying potential issues before they become critical. And tools like Prometheus for monitoring metrics and Grafana for visualization are popular choices. Logging complements monitoring by recording events and transactions that occur with the application or infrastructure. This helps in troubleshooting and understanding historical performance. Tools like Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana, which is the ELK stack, are widely used for logging. These tools provide insights into operational data, helping to optimize performance and ensure reliability. Learn to set these up and understand how to interpret their data. They're really crucial for the ongoing health and stability of our skyscraper, ensuring we can quickly identify and fix any issues. As we reach the upper levels of our skyscraper, we encounter the service mesh layer. It's just like an advanced internal communication system, managing how different parts of our applications interact. So tools like Istio and Linkerd handle complex tasks like traffic management, and security within our microservice architecture. So while it's more advanced, understanding how to implement and manage a service mesh is crucial for large scale distributed applications. And the next thing we're going to look at is security. And this is highly integral to our skyscraper. And in DevOps, this is where DevSecOps comes in. It's about integrating security into every stage of your development and operations. So learn about automated security scanning tools, incorporate security checks in CI CD pipelines, and always stay vigilant about new vulnerabilities. Tools like SonarCube for code quality and security scanning, and a tool like AquaSec for continuous security are essential. Security cannot be overemphasized. I could talk about security endlessly because it is highly important and it is a skill that is required for every DevOps engineer. Finally, remember that building a skyscraper in DevOps is not just about the technical know-how. It's also about the culture and the people. Foster a collaborative environment, encourage continuous learning, and emphasize communication. These will help you stand out as a DevOps engineer in 2024. Soft skills like empathy, adaptability, and effective communication are also highly crucial. 
They are the glue that hold your team together and ensuring everyone works harmoniously towards a common goal. As we conclude our tour of the Dev of Skyscraper, remember that this field is constantly evolving. So keep learning, stay adaptable, and embrace new technologies and practices. Whether you're just starting out as a DevOps engineer or you're an experienced DevOps engineer, there's always more to explore and build. Thank you for joining me on this detailed journey through the DevOps roadmap of 2024. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth tech content. Your comments and questions are also welcome, so feel free to drop them below. I look forward to our next exploration together. Until then, keep building, keep innovating, and let's shape the future of technology together. Bye.